and welcome back to Eta's Corner. How are my amazing immigration friends doing? How is the new year treating you so far? Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you've been up to. To my new and returning subscribers, thank you for your continuous support. And if this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe. Be part of this amazing channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video from me. In today's video, I will discuss the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center, plus the latest updates from some U.S. embassies. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Here is the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center. As of January 9, 2023, the National Visa Center stated that they are working on cases that were received from the USCIS on November 8, 2022. They are reviewing documents submitted on December 6, 2022. And lastly, they are responding to inquiries received on January 4, 2022. To conclude, in terms of working on cases received from the USCIS, they are two months behind. Reviewing documents, they are one month behind. And lastly, responding back to your inquiries, they are one week behind. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the latest updates for some U.S. embassies. U.S. Embassy's latest update India Visa appointments continues to be extremely limited for all consulates in India. FHL appointment slots are available. Applicants are encouraged to check daily for openings and expect longer wait times for B1, B2 visitor visas. The goal is to get back to normal visa processing by September 2023. Jamaica, they are processing all immigrant and non-immigrant visa cases. Expect longer wait times to get immigrant visas, especially if you are missing documents after initial interview. Ghana, they continue to address large amount of appointment backlog in all visa categories and citizenship services. Kenya. They are processing a limited number of immigrant and non-immigrant cases due to the backlog. Nigeria, they are processing consular services at reduced levels for immigrant and non-immigrant visas. No interview visa renewals are available. Haiti. They are processing and prioritizing immigrant visa cases such as adopted children of U.S. citizens, age out, and certain emergency cases. They are also processing a limited amount of cases for spouses, children, siblings of U.S. citizens, and permanent residents. Cuba, they recently resumed visa and consular services since 2017 and they look forward to giving out 20,000 visas a year. The Philippines, the embassy in Manila is processing immigrant 
visas across all categories. However, with significant backlogs in most categories, wait times for interviews are lengthy for all but immediate relative IR1 to IR5. They have increased the number of routine visa appointments for non-immigrant cases since October 2022. Pakistan The U.S. Embassy in Islamabad is processing immigrant visas across all categories. However, with significant backlogs in most categories and continuing staff shortage, wait times for interviews are lengthy. It is not possible to provide precise wait times as staffing and local conditions affect capacity and scheduling. And lastly, for Canada, looking at the chart, we can see that for citizen services, all locations in Canada are providing passports, consular reports of birth abroad, and notary services. Looking at the visa services section, we can see that Montreal is the only location or consulate in Canada that is providing full services for immigrant and fiancé visas. For non-immigrant visas, all consulates in Canada except Montreal are providing full services. Montreal is only providing emergency services. So these are the latest updates for some US embassies. I hope this video was beneficial to each one of you. If I did not list the embassy in your country, please comment down below. And I will try my best to find some information for you. Before I go, ensure that you subscribe, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Ida's Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.